Is this love mutual or one-sided? Today's reading is going to clarify a specific connection for you, whether it's a situationship, a lover from the past, a crush, or a ghosting situation. This could even be someone you're currently in a relationship with for some of you, and you're uncertain about their feelings. This reading will offer you the clarity that you need. We have two groups to choose from. I'm going to start by reading your coffee cup, and then I'm going to draw some tarot and oracle cards, as well as my romantic revelations deck, to know what they want to tell you if they could. This is group number one, and this is group number two. Choose the pile you feel mostly drawn to. What I recommend you do is to close your eyes and think of the person in question. Picture them in your mind. Visualize them. Say their name and ask, is it mutual or one-sided love? Then open your eyes. The group your eyes land on first is the one meant for you. If you feel drawn to both piles, then maybe there are messages in the other pile that you are meant to hear as well. Or maybe you have two people in mind. In that case, you can pick one group for one person and another group for the other person. Hi, group number one. You chose this cup and this card. Queen of my world. I feel that this is how your person sees you. In their world, you are the queen or the king. If this is someone that you met from work or school, the world is the workplace or the school, and they see you as the main character. If you live together, then the world is the home, and they see you as the king or the queen of the home, your person, think so highly of you, and they see you as the main character. You make their world a better place. And for some of you, I feel that you have a special place in their heart. We can see the full moon depicted in this card. You make their world complete. They see you as accomplished, and they put you in high regards. There may be an aspect where they feel that you are out of their league. Let's see what your coffee grounds will reveal. I see that the path to you have been cut. It looks incomplete. You can see here, it looks like it's fading. Maybe a situation where the contact between you was cut off. Either you broke up, you ghosted each other, or the connection just faded. But that doesn't necessarily have to be the case. I see that the love is being mirrored. It is mutual. They felt it too. I see that you have a different love language. You like physical touch and their love language is a bit more distant. I feel like deep down, this person doesn't feel that they are good enough for you. I see you talking and they are not looking at you, but they are listening. This may be someone who comes across as cold and distant, but deep down, they care. I see that they like to look at you from afar. They love to admire you from afar, watch you talk, and just be yourself. This is your confirmation that this person got the hint they understood whatever point you wanted them to understand. Maybe you wanted them to get the hint that you like them. I see that they got it. They pretend that they didn't get it, but they do. I see you a bit sad, wondering if this is going to happen and why they aren't doing more for you. I see that you were ready, but they weren't ready. They like you, but they think that you deserve better. They know that they can't give you what you want. They know that they can't make you happy. I see that sometimes you intimidate them. You are smarter than them. They have never met someone as smart as you, and they feel intimidated by that. This person also has something dark, a dark secret that they kept hidden. This has to do with a traumatic event that happened in their past. I can't exactly see what it was. They are really repressing this memory and closing off this energy. But what I can see is that it scarred them for life and permanently shaped their character. It broke them. They had their heart broken by someone close to them. This is something that they may never open up about. You are on their mind a lot. I see the possibility of future communication. I see that neither you nor this person will ever lose hope on each other. Even if it fades, it will never go away completely. 
I see drops of water everywhere in your cup. Water symbolizes emotion. There are so many emotions attached to this connection, from your end and from their end as well. You were meant to cross paths with them. This person is someone who did a good gesture with you in a past life. They helped you or protected you from something. Your soul wanted to meet with them during this current lifetime because your soul wanted to thank them. Your person has a feeling of familiarity regarding you because of this, and this plays a role in why they like you and why you like them. I see you both walking separate paths. Earlier I saw a connection that fades, or the path to you that gets more complicated the closer they get. There is a separation, but there will be a reunion after that. The separation is there because each one of you has a mission in life that they need to complete on their own. Lessons that are meant to be learned on your own. I also see the possibility of you ending up together in the future. You're going to help this person through some hardship. I see you lending them a helping hand, helping them cross. This will reignite a passion. Be careful to not give too much. Let's get more details with the cards. The cards that I'm going to be using for these readings are all my decks that I have created myself. If you like any of these decks, I put a link in the pinned comment below for you to order. This is more than a confirmation that this love is mutual. You don't need to doubt yourself or whether they like you or not anymore. Because the cards are confirming what I saw in your coffee grounds and are showing that they are attracted to you. This is love and lust at the same time. They want you for themselves. This person has abandonment issues and gets easily jealous. I feel that in their mind, you are theirs which reminds me of the oracle card that you chose, queen of my world. Their world is what's in their mind, and you are the main character. I'm also hearing, living in my head rent-free. You are living in their head rent-free. You are constantly on their mind. This person is infatuated with you. You are their type. I see that you are compatible. The two of cups also confirms that your souls have met in a past life. I feel that this person respects you. They respect what you did for them. They put you in high regard. There is a mutual understanding between you that wasn't verbally communicated, but it was felt. The Ace of Wands confirms the passionate feelings between you. They have strong feelings for you. This person desires you. They may also be lusting over you. If both of you are still in contact, the Ace of Wands encourages you to take the leap if you want to talk to them and make the first move. The outcome will be good. Since we also have the Sun here, the outcome will be a happy one and in your favor. I feel that you letting them know about your feelings or asking them to go grab a coffee is going to make them happy. I feel that it will brighten up their day. The Sun is also a card of truth coming to light. Expect to hear the truth about how they feel about you soon. Some hidden things are going to come to light and be revealed to you. You may also hear some news about them or some information that you didn't know before, and this could be unexpected. You may have met this person in your workplace or school, but I see that both of you are focused on money right now, career, and maybe getting a side hustle. Both of you are ambitious. I feel that there were some people envious of you and your connection. If you have been in a relationship, or even friendship with this person. And you may have talked about them to some friends. Some of them are envying you. It's best to keep this to yourself. If you have been in a connection with this person, such as a relationship or a friendship, I see that there are some people who envy your connection. If this is a lover from the past, jealousy could be one of the reasons why this connection didn't work out. I see so many eyes on you too. I'm going to use my Romantic Revelations Oracle to find out what they would like to tell you right now if they had the chance.
If this is a no-contact situation, your person wants to tell you that they often wonder where you are in life right now. I feel that you both are still connected energetically. Maybe physically, you are no longer connected, but energetically, the link is still there. There is definitely some regret on their part. This confirms what I saw in your coffee grounds. You were ready, but they weren't. Now they are ready, but it's too late. They feel like they made so many mistakes and that they missed their chance. They want to tell you that they see you in their dreams. You may have seen them in your dreams too. If you are still in touch, you may have noticed that your person is being distant with you. That's because they feel that they can't give you what you want. They feel that they can't make you happy. They feel that they end up hurting you, hurting your feelings, and they don't want to hurt you anymore. They feel that even though the attraction is mutual, when you are together, there is something wrong that always happens with throwing things. They feel that they met the right person at the wrong time. They feel that even though the compatibility is there, it doesn't necessarily mean that you will be happy together. What they are saying might be confusing to you, but it's not you. This person is very confused when it comes to matters of the heart. They tend to be very closed off. There is also the traumatic event that happened in their past that scarred them for life and led them to be this confused about what they want in love. I feel that this person is afraid of being vulnerable. They are afraid of giving their all and ending up getting hurt or betrayed. They are more sensitive than what they look like. That's all I have for you. I hope you found this reading insightful and that it clarified this connection. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. It will mean the world to me. I love you and see you in my next reading. Hi, group number two. You chose this cup and this card. Obsession. I'm getting a lot of restless energy from this group. Maybe this connection stresses you out. Maybe it makes you feel frustrated and restless. There is definitely an element of obsession here. I feel that you are obsessed with them and they are obsessed with you as well. I get that they are stalking you on social media or looking for you on social media. I also feel that this person kept their feelings to themselves. They didn't talk about you to anyone. This is specific, but if you were in a relationship with this person, they didn't forget you. If you are in no contact with them, they didn't forget you or the moments that you had together. And sometimes they reminisce about the past. But because we have the crescent moon depicted in this card, I feel that this connection is either new or it didn't get to completion. It was cut off too soon. You didn't fully experience being with each other. For some of you, this could be just a crush, you never actually got to start anything with them. Let's see what your coffee grounds will reveal. Do you see what looks like two people trying to connect with each other, but there is a barrier between them? It looks like they are trying to lock hands, but they can't. This confirms to me that this connection is either new or it didn't get to a stage of completion. It may have been cut out too soon, before you have established anything meaningful with this person. I see that your person likes you, but they like a version of you that you have been showing to the world, or a version of you that you have been showing to them. I see that they haven't seen the full you, your true self. What they like about you is the image that you put out into the world, maybe your style or a facade but not your true self, because they didn't get to see who you truly are deep down, your authentic self. You shouldn't be afraid to be yourself, because only then will you attract the right person to you. I see you talking with this person. Maybe you enjoy talking to each other, conversing. They love talking to you. They feel that you are interesting, and the communication goes smoothly. If this is just a crush, then expect an upcoming conversation between you and them. This person may not be right for you. I see you feeling alone in this connection. This is very specific, but I just heard, build this connection on honesty. This may resonate with some of you. 
You're being called to be honest with them and to be your true self. Be honest with what you want and need from this connection and be yourself. If they are right for you, they will accept you for who you are and support you. Because for some of you, I see that right now, this person likes the outer version of yourself, the one that you show to the world. And that's not enough. I see that you are about to go on a date with this person. You will have an important conversation that will define where things will be going between you from there on. I see a lot of romance coming for you. Things will go well between you. Truth and being vulnerable with each other is a good thing. I see that once you open up about your feelings and your past, they will open up too. I also see you kissing. I see the sun between you. The sun symbolizes truth coming to light, as well as happiness. I see a lot of texting between you. For some of you, this could be a long distance relationship. If this connection evolves into a long distance relationship, it could be challenging for some of you. I get that for some of you, this connection could be someone from your past, someone you were in a relationship with, but it ended abruptly, or a situationship that just faded with no closure. If that's the case, then I see the frustration in you. I see you wanting closure. I see you getting over them with time. But when that happens, they are going to make a comeback into your life. They will reconnect with you. They will cross your path. I see that this person has been putting a barrier around them. You find it hard to get to them. Their energy is very closed off. They may also be ashamed of their behavior and hiding from you. They're avoiding confronting you because they know that what they did was wrong and they don't want to admit it. For some of you, I feel that this person may have led you on. They weren't honest with you. So many things have been left unsaid. I feel that they have a lot of things that they want to say to you, but they feel that right now, they can't confront you. They are not ready. You also have a lot of things that you want to say to them. So many questions. Let's get more details with the cards. The cards that I'm going to be using for these readings are all my decks that I have created myself. If you like any of these decks, I put a link in the pinned comment below for you to order. Many of you are asking about a connection that ended. This may be a no contact situation, an ex, a situationship from the past. This person broke your heart. They caused you a lot of pain and confusion. They may have even betrayed you. This confirms what I saw in your coffee grounds, the lack of honesty in this connection. They may have not been honest about their feelings towards you. They may have lied to you. They liked you, but they weren't the right person for you. If this is a new connection that you are asking about, then I don't see that things will be long term. All the signs tell me that this connection may end too soon. This person is a heartbreaker. They may not be honest with you from the start. You need to be careful. Don't give your all, all at once, at the beginning. For some of you, this may have been someone that you lived together at some point. I do see someone else stepping in. There will be a new connection for you. This is someone who takes the lead. This is someone who is 100% sure about you from the start. I see that this new person is madly in love with you. They will treat you better than anyone has ever treated you before. They have the energy of a leader, a go and get it kind of person. This is the king of wands energy. They will give you things that the other person didn't give to you. They know your worth. This new person with the King of Wands energy, is going to propose to you. They will be sure about you from the beginning, and they will want a committed relationship with you. The Ten of Pentacles is a card that talks about the long term, which is also a confirmation that this person wants a long term connection with you, and maybe a family as well. I see that the new person that is destined for you is better with money than the other person. However, once you get with this new person, your other person that we are doing this reading about may make a comeback into your life because they still think that you are theirs. They will want to reconnect with you and get you back only because they see this new person that you will be meeting soon as a competition. 
and they see you as a prize. They also see you as theirs, even though they are not being honest with you about their feelings. I'm going to use my Romantic Revelations Oracle deck to find out what they would like to tell you right now if they had the chance. This person may have been confusing you because they have trust issues. I feel that this person is scared of being abandoned and betrayed, so they abandon and betray people first, before the other person has the chance to abandon and betray them, even if that wasn't going to happen. In their mind, they always think that they are going to end up betrayed. I feel that they have given you mixed signals, but somehow they feel that you have been giving them mixed signals and being confusing. They feel the same thing as you do. They feel confused about this connection as well. There is love in this connection. They felt for you something they never felt for anyone before. They feel that you are the right person, but you met at a time where they were confused about what they want. It wasn't the right time for them to be in a committed relationship. They want to tell you that you are the bravest person they have ever known. If this is a no-contact situation, they want you to know that they got their act together and that they are in a better place right now. They want you to know that they are doing better than the last time you saw them. They feel better physically, spiritually, and emotionally. They feel like their life is more stable, it's going somewhere, and that they have a future. That's all I have for you. I hope you found this reading insightful and that it clarified this connection for you. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. It will mean the world to me. I love you and see you in my next reading.